Snorlax was banned in competitive 1v1 Pokemon. Competitive 1v1 Pokemon is a format where you bring three Pokemon and pick one. It's a form of rock, paper, scissors on steroids with a lot more complications than meet the eye. There's no switching, which means there's very little difference between a check and a counter. Moves like Hyper Beam or Hydro Cannon are viable because you only need one KO. You can try and trick your opponent by using a team that looks weak to a common Pokemon, and then when your opponent gets baited into picking it, you reveal you are actually prepared for it. You have to carefully analyze what your team is weak to and what your opponent's team is weak to and make your pick accordingly. Team building is very important and there's a lot of room for creativity in 1v1 and finding ways to lure your opponent. But why is Snorlax banned in the tier? Snorlax has a combination of great strength and overwhelming versatility relative to the rest of the metagame. Its best set was Belly Jump Custat Berry. With Gluttony, Snorlax can Belly Jump and then use Custat Berry to throw off a plus 6 double edge. It's preferred over Giga Impact so that you can attack more than once if you need to. Then it uses coverage moves to hit anything normal type doesn't hit and uses Encore for other setup Pokemon or stall Pokemon. Even if you don't get the Belly Jump off, Snorlax is still both powerful, bulky, and very tricky to deal with. It can also use Choice Band because Snorlax is still very strong and very difficult to one-hit KO. This is why you can't just use Taunt versus Snorlax to stop Belly Jump. You risk getting destroyed by its Choice Band set. Finally, it can even run a Choppleberry counter stall set. You cannot blindly pick a fighting type versus Snorlax because you risk running into Choppel counter and getting KO'd. Even if you don't get countered, it's very difficult to break past Snorlax because of its insane bulk. Defense Curl has 64 PP, so Snorlax can even try PP stalling you with a combination of Amnesia, Rest, and Defense Curl. Snorlax is very threatening on its own. Its Custap Berry set has good matchups versus most of the metagame, but its move pool and versatility push it over the top. Not only are there so many sets to deal with, these sets themselves synergize with each other, like Choice Man Snorlax making Taunt risky. Ultimately, Snorlax was banned with a 75% ban rate, a clear indication that it was overpowered.